Okay, welcome everyone. Welcome to this tutorial series for the NFT Hack Hackathon, which brings together a virtual collective of passionate creatives and engineers for a weekend NFT focused hackathon and summit powered by ETH Global. My name is Harish. I look after developer relations at Covalent, and we're excited to sponsor uh, the NFT Hack event with uh, a bounty prize of 1500 USDT for three projects uh, that best use the Covalent API. And in this tutorial, we'll walk you through a couple of API endpoints that might be useful in analyzing NFT data. So we're going to start here at our landing page for this campaign, which is nft.covalenthq.com. And we're going to take a look at the hackathon resources and in particular, the API docs. So the API is free to use. You just need to sign up for an API key. And we're going to take a look at the NFT um, token IDs and the get external NFT metadata. So you would use these endpoints if you wanted to fetch uh, the tokens of a particular collectible and then be able to do a deep dive and analyze the underlying metadata for each token ID. And we'll talk you through how you can do this. So let's go to OpenSea and find a collectible that we want to do some analysis on. So we'll take a look at, uh, let's say, the Axie Infinity. Uh, I find these quite interesting. So let's, uh, let's do a, a deep dive here. And by just clicking on any one of these collectibles, up here in the URL, you get two key pieces of information. You get the collectibles smart contract address. So this is the Axie Infinity uh, smart contract address. And then you get the, the token ID. So first, we're going to start by just copying the, to or the, the smart contract uh, address and going back to the Covalent API. And we can actually test this directly in the browser. One of the, the nice things about the Covalent API is you can actually just test the endpoint directly from the, the web browser. So we're going to use a chain ID of one, which is for Ethereum mainnet. And here's a list of all the other networks that we currently support. And we're going to paste in that smart contract address for Axie Infinity. And I'm just going to go ahead and try this out, this endpoint out, and let's see the, the result that we get. So what this will give us is a list of all token IDs for this particular NFT contract. And so we see that we've got uh, details for each token associated with the Axie contract name and ticker symbol. And so we see we've got our token IDs. And by default, we get 100 um, items back. But you can adjust that based on the page size. And also with the pagination, you can loop through uh, and um, fetch uh, data for using different page numbers. We can also specify a CSV format if you actually wanted to download this into a, a flat CSV file and use Google Sheets or Excel to do your analysis. So now what we can do is we see that we've got our list of token IDs. Um, I can use the get external NFT metadata endpoint, which allows us to then be able to do a deep dive on a particular um, token. And this endpoint supports both ERC-751 as well as the 1155 standards. So I'm going to, let's say we want to get details on um, this particular axis, which is 204387. So I'm going to use a chain ID again of one. This is the same NFT contract address we used for the last endpoint. And we're going to put in 204387 as our token ID. Let's give that a try. OK, and so here we've got the, the result for this particular token ID, 204387. And we see here is the um, external NFT metadata. We've got the description. We've got the, the image, the external URL to this particular axi, and then the particular attributes um, associated with this uh, axi, including the owner, birth date, et cetera, et cetera. So we get all this really interesting uh, metadata, which you can, again, use if you are creating um, some sort of dashboard around NFTs, 
or doing any sort of uh, deep dive data analytics. And it's just as simple as plugging in the NFT contract address, which again, you can get from a tool like OpenSea and looking at a particular asset. So just to quickly pick up another one, if we look at CryptoPunks and we take one of the assets, this address here would be the NFT contract address that you would use. And this would be the token ID. So uh, again, for NFT hack, we're providing a, a bounty prize of 1500 USDT for three projects uh, who best make the use of the Covalent API. And we look forward to seeing what creative projects uh, you all come up with. And if you've got any questions or need any dev support, we've got our Covalent sponsor channel in ETH Global, um, but we've also got our own Discord server if you do want to reach out there and we'll be happy to help you. Good luck with your projects.